हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज अंकुश फैकल्टी एट द गेट कोच सो नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट अ टॉपिक रेजिडेंस टाइम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आरटीडी फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट केमिकल रिएक्शन इंजीनियरिंग हाउ टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन आरटीडी बेसिकली देयर आर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन टू फाइंड आउट द मेन रेजिडेंस टाइम इट नॉर्मली एंड वी हैव take in a problem so for if you want to refer this topic you can refer the book the reference book you can take as elements of chemical reaction engineering by h scott fogel that is the best book for this topic rtd so i'm assuming that all of you know that what are the basis of rtd basic points and key points etc so we will solve this problem but first i just want to tell you one point from this topic that what is the difference between ideal reactor and non ideal reactor so the basic difference is in case of ideal reactor all molecules have same residence time i hope you know that what is the meaning of residence time residence time is the time spent by the molecule within the reactor while in case of non ideal reactor different molecules have different residence time clear so hum isse kya analyze kar sakte hain there is a question ki reactor aapka ideal hai aur non ideal hai why kya reason hai agar hum baat kare suppose we have a ideal ideal reactor there is a inlet there is a outlet and you know that there is a bulk in and the bulk velocity of the mixture is suppose u bar and you know that distance is mentioned as velocity into time so in this case in case of ideal reactor all the molecules are entering with the same bulk velocity u bar that is same for all molecules and we are saying that residence time is also same for all the molecules so it simply means distance travel by the molecules will also be same and what is that distance that is the flow path they are using in the reactor means all the molecules will follow the same path or same distance within the reactor while in case of non ideal reactor suppose bulk velocity of all the molecules are same u bar and distance travel by them will be u bar into t you know that we are saying that all the molecules are entering with the same bulk velocity u bar so this will be same but different molecules have different residence time so this t is different so their product the distance will also be different so it means different molecules will follow the different residence time sorry different flow path like this and flow path is always you know that provided by the reactor flow path depends on the geometry of the reactor that's why we say that 
non ideality is the case of reactor it depends on the geometry of the reactor okay clear sabhi ko so that is the basic difference of ideal reactor and non ideal reactor in case of ideal reactor all molecules follow the same flow path but in case of non ideal reactor all different molecules follow the different flow path that's the reason of their non ideality so now come back to the question this is a simple problem of pulse input experiment i hope you know that what is pulse input experiment and what we do there etc etc so some points from that experiment sir suppose we have a reactor this is feed we inject the tracer at inlet amount of tracer is suppose n not and we measure we detect the tracer concentration at outlet at different different time interval in pulse input experiment we inject the tracer in one shot so that is the profile and the exit concentration of tracer this profile is comes up to be like this and this exit concentration of tracer versus time profile is known as c curve and this long tail represents the dead zone you know that and there is one more term bypassing so this section represents the bypassed tracer molecules you know that so exit concentration versus time curve is known as c curve and we define here one parameter one term exit h function et as v not ct over n not and here units of et is minute inverse and you can see v not is the feed rate that will be constant and n not is the amount of tracer injected that is constant value so et is directly proportional to ct so it simply means if you draw a curve between e versus time that will be same as c curve like this and the e versus time curve is known as e curve because e is directly proportional to c that's why this curve nature of e curve will be same as that of for c curve but the values of points will be different because of these constant and there are some points about e curve i want to tell you this is the e curve and this is the area of e curve and area of e curve indicates the fraction of tracer leaving the reactor between given time interval 
and if you find out the area from 0 to infinite that will be et dt which is equal to 1 and why because you know that area of e curve is indicating the fraction of tracer leaving the reactor between given time interval and in total time interval between 0 to infinite total fraction will come outside the reactor and total fraction is will be equal to 1 so that's why the area of e curve will always be 1 between total time interval that is the important point you should know area of e curve will be equal to 1 for total time interval that is the important point and if someone ask you the fraction of tracer leaving the reactor between time t1 and t2 then simply just find out the area of e curve between time t1 and t2 this and what will be the area this will be equal to integration from t1 to t2 of e t d t cool so that is something about e curve now solving the problem so from gate 2005 that is a 4 mark question linked answer question 2 plus 2 4 marks the RTD of a reactor is 0 until 3 minutes and then increases linearly so this is the problem they are given it to us So you have to find out Emax and T bar. In first part, they ask you what is the value of Emax for two marks. That is a simple question. Two marks means Emax. What is Emax? This. And you know that this is what? E curve. Between total time interval 3 to 15. And we know that area of E curve is equal to 1 so in this case and this is a triangle and area of triangle is half of base and height this is equal to 1 and here base is 15 minus 3 multiply by height which is e max so from there we get e max is equal to 1 by 6 that is the answer that is a simple problem class 10th mein aap sabhi ne menstruation mein padha hai what is the area of triangle you have to put that equation and from there you find out e max which is 1 by 6 ye aapka 2 marks ke liye problem aaya tha itna simple problem second aapse kya pucha tha unhone t bar that is mean residence we know that t bar is given by 0 to infinite t into e t d t so you just need to find out the equation of e 
in terms of time and put that equation in this case and you will get your answer. So let us do, you know that from class 10th or 9th equation of a straight line connecting two points is given by this. So, here is what? We have to find out T E equation of E in terms of time. So, if you see this is a curve from 3 to 8 this is one line and from 8 to 15 this is second line. So, just you need to find out this equation. So, suppose for time interval 3 to 8 we are finding out. So, this is the point suppose 3 0 and 8 1 by 6. Let us indicate suppose these are x 1 y 1 and these are x 2 y 2 and the equation y is e 1 t minus y 1 is 0 is equal to y 2 minus y 1 over x 2 minus x 1 x minus x 1. So, from there for 3 time between 3 to 8 we get E 1 t is equal to 1 over 30 t minus 3. Similarly, you can find out the equation for this case for time between 8 to 15 your equation will come out to be minus 1 by 42 t minus 15. Simple. So, for this case t bar will be 3 to 15 t into e t d t and you know that E is breaking into two parts. So, this T bar will you can write down as th between 3 to 8 as E 1 and then from 8 to 15 as E 2. Put, put those values in this case your and your answer will be 8.67 that is approximately 8.7 minutes. these are two points simple mark my words guys RTD is one of the simplest topic in CRE and that is one of the scoring and important topic in gate you just need to know two things first mathematics up to class 10th which you have come here simple integration and differentiation hai. you can solve it and second meaning of the terms in this case we just we should know that t bar is denoted by this equation and area of e curve is 1 this is the meaning so meaning yaad karna koi badi baat nahi hai samajhna koi badi baat nahi hai aap kar sakte ho dusra ye 10th class tak ka mathematics sabse simple mathematics hota hai jaisa hum engineering karte hain usse to simple hi hota hai so bas aapko ye values yahan rakhni hai aur solve karna hai ye four marks aapke free ke hain rtd mein aapke bilkul free ke question aate hain aap easily unhe grasp aur solve kar sakte ho so, best of luck and if you have any query, mail us at. Thank you.